Hello guys, today we are going to be doing Maths Lead Common Test March 2023 Grade 12 Question Paper. This is a Grade 12 Question Paper. It's Mathematical Literacy Common Test March 2023. It's a Grade 12 Question Paper as I've said um, from KZN. So I need you guys to listen very carefully so that you might benefit from this video guys. Please listen very carefully. And I will definitely give you the corrections, the corrections for the question paper. I will leave a link in the description where you will get the corrections for the question paper. Or you can download the question paper if you want corrections. But I will advise you not to download it now, not to download the, the, the corrections or the, or the memo right now. Let's do the question paper first and then you will download the memo yourself after we are done doing the question paper so that we, we we will benefit and we won't cheat so please guys uh, another thing i need to address is that try to figure out the answers don't just watch me answer please try to figure out the answers uh, which answer maybe pause the video and try to calculate other than just watching me answering the whole question paper please guys i'll give you the corrections um i'll definitely give you the corrections or you just you'll just uh download the corrections on, on google after we are done so yeah let's go we are going to start with question one and i hope the question paper is visible i will zoom in so that it, it will be visible to most of you question one um by the way this is a common test for match question one nombuso has an account with standard bank annexure a shows an extract of her bank account annexure a so this we, we are dealing with annexure here we, we gotta check out annexures guys we gotta check out the annexure the annexure a as they are talking okay guys as you can see this is the annexure a um it's not that visible it's not that visible i have paused the video to change the color here so i, I hope it's more visible a little bit so this is the annexure guys this is the annexure they are talking about so let's go to the question then we'll go back to the annexure or you can just download the question paper to make things easier for you you can just download the question paper guys Define the word debit according to the given context above. Let's go to, to annexure A and, to, and define the word debit. Many of you know the word debit anyway, but let's let's go to annexure A. The word debit on annexure A. You can check it out here, guys. I don't think it's mentioned here, but um, when we talk about the word debit, we talk about money deducted from Nobuso's account. That's the, we are talking about debit when we, we say that. Or any relevant account, you can say money de deducted or maybe money in the bank account of Nobuso. Um, there are a lot of explanations. So, yeah. It just has to be relating to that one I'm I'm telling you right now. Money deducted from Nombuso's account. It's just money. It's a word debit. So let's go to 1.1.2. Determine the number of days covered by the statement. So we, we have to check the, the number of days covered by the statement. The number of days covered by the statement. We have to check them. How many days that are covered by the statement? I hope, guys, the, the thing is visible here. I hope the question paper is visible. I really, really hope it's visible. I hope you guys can see properly here. But the number of days covered here is 32 days. Where do we find that? You can see from here. It's written statement 
Hairways written statement 8 October 2022 to 9 November. So it's actually 9 November. Other people would think it's actually they would think it's actually 8 November, but it's not 8 November, guys. It's 9 November. So yeah, so you should watch out for these things. So it's 32 days, guys. It's 32 days. It's 32 days. It's not it's not 8 November, it's 9 November. Because I got a more clear question paper here. So it's 9 November. So let's go to 1.1.3. Write down the statement frequency. The statement frequency is actually monthly. It's monthly. 1.1.4. This one this one actually needs common sense, guys. 1.1.4 show show how the total vet amount of 38,09 was determined. How it was determined, the total VAT account. Okay, we know that VAT we deal with 15%. It would depend what it says here. It's actually, we know that VAT is, it deals with 15%. But if it doesn't need that, there's no problem. Okay, you, here you can see total charge amount excluding VAT. Total VAT, total charge amount including VAT. So this is it. We're gonna use these amounts how to find um the the, the amount here how to find it eight comma zero nine many of you will get this right actually it's the easiest one in the whole world we just subtract we subtract 253 minus 291 then we get the amount here eight comma zero nine 253 comma four six minus 291 comma five five then we get the amount we start with the biggest by the way so that you wouldn't get a negative amount so let's go to 1.2.1 let's go there let's go there 1.2.1 okay guys as you can see we are going to 1.2 first a summary of 2022 government income and expenditure is given below um, economic development, learning culture, peace of insecurity, health, general public service, community development, debit service, cost, uh, whatever, whatever, whatever. So guys, this is it. Let's go to the questions. Identify the type of tax, which is the biggest source of revenue for the state. The type of tax, which is the biggest source of revenue. Okay, which, which tax is the biggest? source of revenue which tax is the biggest source of revenue in i would say in in in, in south africa which tax there's the there's a tax there there are tax there you have to check the whole the whole question paper guys before you before the, the whole question paper or the whole annex or whatever it is that was given to you, you have to check it all so that you can be able to answer the the questions which one at today's here you can pick here which which one is the biggest number here is the one that's visible which is personal income tax so guys if the question paper is not visible enough to you but it's personal income tax but next time i will try to find a more visible question paper 1.2.2 we are going to write the amount received from personal income tax as a number in millions write the amount received from personal income tax as a number in millions so here you just have to write the number in millions um i don't think it's gonna be be, pro be a problem to you write the amount received from personal income tax personal income tax as a number in millions so here's personal income tax which is 587,9 bn which is a billion so just write it in millions when you write it in millions you will say 587,900 million not thousand actually it's 587,900 million you, you pronounce it that way 587,900 million that's how you write the amount in millions. 
1.2.3 show how the total income was determined. How the total income was determined. This one should be uh, a little bit straightforward. If you, if you want to show how the total income was determined, you add all the numbers here. Um, this is the total income, by the way. This one. This one right here. So in order to find how it was determined, you, you just have to, to, to add. You just have to add. Do you see the numbers that are yellow? All these numbers that are yellow, you add all of them. You add all of them. Anyway, guys, I will make sure um I, I, I put the corrections here so that you can you can you can see properly so that you wouldn't have any problems. But I will put the corrections in the end anyway. So you have to add all the numbers here. As I've put them in yellow, you can see you add all the numbers here and then you will get the total, which is something that's very straightforward, guys. So let's go to another question. 1.2.4 Calculate the state deficit and write the figure in full. The state deficit. So when you calculate the state deficit, I will tell you why. I will tell you why. I need you guys to calm down. You say one one thousand four hundred and ninety three comma five billion, which is the one this one. Then you say minus this one. Two thousand one hundred and thirty billion. This is a billion, guys. As you can see here, it's written amount in billion rands. It's a billion. Don't think it's a two thousand one hundred and thirty rand. It's a billion. Then you minus, you will get 636,5 billion. Then that's the, actually, that's, that's, that's the full amount. You, you just write the full amount then. After you're done right, doing that, you write the full amount as it is. You say 636,5 billion. 500 million. That's the whole amount. You have to write it in full, guys. Don't write BN. Write it in full so that you can get the marks. If you write it in full, as, as the question says, calculate the state deficit and write it, the figure in full. As you can see, calculate the state deficit. We have to minus because um, it's income and expenditure. So we're trying to find the difference, the deficit. We're trying to find the difference. We have to minus between income and expenditure. So remember, guys, when they talk about calculate the state deficit, they're talk they are talking about minusing between income and expenditure. So we are going to another question now. Another question. As guys, I, I've told you this. What's important here is for you to listen and understand the question paper. There's no point of me answering the question paper and then in the end you don't understand anyway. And you got the answers right, but when I we change the numbers, you don't understand. We you have to understand the question paper, how to answer the question paper. That's what that's that's the point of this video, not to just answer the question paper and flex to you and say this question paper has been answered or something like that. You have to understand how they get the answers. That's how um, the teachers teach you at school anyway. Even if uh, let's say you you you're learning accounting, let's say you're an accounting learner, most of the time the teachers will use corrections because their point is actually to teach you how you to get the, how to get the answers. They are. They are trying to teach you how to get the answer so that when they change the numbers, you can be able to get the answers. There's no point for me to answer the whole question paper and at the end, you don't understand anyway, but you got the answers. No. So you have to understand how to get the answers. 1.2.5. Let's go. If a sector is chosen at random, determine the probability that the expenditure amount is greater than 200 billion. Determine, okay, if the sector is chosen at random, if the sector is chosen at random, determine the probability that the expenditure amount is greater than 200 billion. So, how do you get this one, guys? I need you guys to think and pause the video. How do you get this one? I need you guys to listen to the question very carefully first. That's how you can get 
the answers right. If a sector is chosen at random, determine the probability that the expenditure amount is greater than 200 billion. So what should we do here? You have to determine the probability. If you know the probability and you never skipped grade 11, I probably you know the probability. If you didn't skip grade 11 classes, you know the probability. So, determine the probability that the expenditure amount is greater than 200 billion. We are talking about here expenditure amount, expendi in expenditure. This is the table for expenditure. And we're talking about um, an amount that is over 200 billion, greater than 200 billion. What do you do? Yes, you count here. You count the numbers that are over 200 billion. Over 200 billion. Greater than 200 billion. Over 200 billion. So as you can see from the table, how many numbers that are over 200 billion? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. After you've done, after you're done doing that, you say 7. Then you count all the numbers in the list which how many of them there's no need to count the actually nine so you're saying the greater than 200 billion is equal to seven over nine that's the probability i will assume by now you know the probability um i'll definitely assume that if you don't know the probability just comment down below um i'll definitely show you um some probability um how to answer the probability questions but it's, it's very straightforward guys the i'm gonna explain again for those who don't understand if a sector is chosen at random chosen at random chosen at random determine the probability that the expenditure amount is greater than 200 billion the probability that the expenditure amount is greater than 200 billion that's how you do it you just calculate the numbers that are over to you just count in fact you don't calculate count the numbers that are over 200 billion then you count the whole list then you put seven over nine that's that's how you do it it's like for example um there are blue balls and yellow balls let me let me explain very quickly there are blue balls and yellow balls and i say determine the pop let's say the blue balls are how many of them let's say there are seven of them and the yellow balls there are three of them the yellow balls there are three of them and i say determine the probability of picking um the the blue balls the blue balls you'll say seven over ten because all of the balls combined they are ten and they, they, they are seven balls so it's like counting counting the balls here the, the probability of picking the probability of picking blue balls is actually seven if i say determine the probability of picking yellow balls you'll say three because they, they are three balls and you say three over ten because there are ten balls in total if you don't understand comment down below again guys i will just make an example as many as as i can do so i will definitely put on the corrections on the screen so that you guys can see in the end as i've said guys the, the aim is to understand how to get the answer so that's that's really really important so it's really important that um you comment down below in case you didn't understand because it's also also difficult for me to explain without using the board because of my difficulties here i'm using uh, my cell phone to explain to you it's it's difficult for me to explain without using a board but next time i would just try to explain using a board i don't know how will i do that but i will make a plan when i have time so guys um please uh, look at the corrections very carefully i will just put on put them on the screen look at them very carefully maybe pause the video and try to analyze and look carefully okay guys let's end here in question one uh subscribe for question two i'll release question two surely tomorrow it, and it would be more improved so guys um i'll end here in question one the reason i want to do this step by step is because i'm trying to explain the question paper i don't want to make a long video of two hours then you don't understand the question paper so i want to take things step by step so let's end here in question one so that you can get question two tomorrow you'll get question two i need to analyze question two first on how i can explain to you in an understandable way so guys make sure you subscribe like the video share the video and i'll see you in question two